Hi everybody, Martin here, hope you're doing great. In this video we are going to analyze Sharon Stone, which means we are going to talk about confidence, because as I find out, I didn't know her, I just found that this episode of a Conan show, and she was in there, some sort of Sharon Stone, I didn't know who that person was, until I watched the interview of course, and then I watched the movie, and I then I realized who she actually is. But when I watched the show, without knowing who she was, I saw enormous, enormous confidence, it was a radiating confidence, she ruled the room, she ruled both of the men that are sitting in that show at that very moment. Being confident is really attractive, so if you wanna be more confident, ergo you finish the equation, definitely watch that video because we are going to dig deep in a confidence tips for women. Before I start, I'd like to ask you to consider subscribing to the channel because every Wednesday and every other Saturday we are releasing a new video about body language, communication, communication tips, how to be confident and confidence tips, everything that's related to these topics from social psychology and communication sciences generally. I read this recently and I believe it. So the first very very important thing that we must look at is how calm body language she is having. She is resting in her chair, likes cross, relaxed shoulders, relaxed body language and it's the, ver it's the first very important thing to look for because if you want to be perceived confident you need to be calm because stressed people are rarely confident so you want to be calm, relaxed and then you can proceed to the next level towards the confidence thing. But I don't know how you feel about it, that uh, basic instinct is the most paused, has the most paused. That head tilt she is doing, it's, I don't wanna say manipulative body language, but when you are tilting your head, you are telling that you are feeling comfortable with the person that is around there, that you are listening to that person, that you are paying him attention, paying him or her attention, and you are feeling nice with him because it's a vulnerable sign from a, from biology and from a historical perspective these are very important body parts and when we are feeling stressed we are trying to hide them by raising our shoulders now this is surely not calm relaxed body language but when you are relaxed you don't mind opening that, that neck part showing that you are not afraid of the person in front of you which means that is a comfortable sign and when our brain sees that it he translates it our brain it translates it that that person is feeling nice with us basic instinct is the most paused has the most paused moment in movie history in all of movie history it is the most Why, paused Conan, moment what what moment would that be? <laughs> it's towards the I'm yeah. uncertain. <laughs> I'm uncertain what moment we're talking about. It's actually the credits. Uh, people <laughs> really want to know who the cinematographer is. No, but it's such a, it's, it's, that's. Uh, so, important thing. She is playing on her own rules, but it's not that obvious in this very scene but following the path the Conan is talking about is very important as well. So what is confident? Confident is when she knows what she is talking about, what they are talking about, without articulating that in the first place. They are talking about that scene from a movie, which was the most paused scene in the movie history. And she know what moment they are talking about, he knows what part they are talking about, but they are making fun alongside. So, knowing is a confident trait, so following that secondary path and not necessarily verbalize everything that is being talked about. Then joking is of course very confident type, because you are joking mostly when you are confident, when you are relaxed. Of course there are some people like Chandler from The Friends, when he is joking around when he is stressed as a defense mechanism, but this is not the case and most people are joking when they are feeling comfortable. When they are not comfortable, their brain's not working enough to make up a joke, so joke is kind of a relaxed. Privilege. In all of movie history, it is the most Why, paused Conan, moment. Why, Conan? What, 
What moment would that be? <laughs> she doesn't mind interrupting Conan, which is also a dominant characteristic and confident thing. And especially when you are talking to someone, and especially when someone is asking you, they tend to be in a superior role to you. So if you know how to interrupt these people, how to interrupt them properly, not disgracing them, but adding adding to their question it's very important and she's doing just that so she's interrupting conan but interrupting him in a way that conan accepts that and it makes her more confident but uh, also interrupting on a secondary line means that you know what you're talking about you know your value and you want to communicate you want to add to that communication as well and by articulating that, by interrupting that person, you are standing your ground and every human interaction is sort of a power play. So by interrupting, you are interrupting the power of that superior person who is just talking. So you are equaling, you are raising your status as well. But as I said, you can't interrupt anyone in a rude way. Then of course your dominant status will raise, but people will stop liking you. So. I ask you not to do it because it's only damaging your confidence. It's damaging your social status and you don't want that because you are trying to be confident to raise your social status, not to damage that. All of movie history, thousands and thousands and thousands of movies, you have that moment. That's just incredible. I'm popular too. Yes, you are. <laughs> uh, you get thousands and thousands of movies and you have that moment. I'm a popular too. It's amazing how she handled that because her he put her in a spotlight and it's not comfortable for most people. Like you are the only one person who managed to do that, who is who has the most pause moment in a movie history. And most people wouldn't know how to react to that. But she handled it amaz in an amazing way. So she's she took a credit for that scene. She knows it's a very famous scene, it's a very famous movie, but she is also not being selfish about it, she is not being cocky about that moment. She is showing an humble acceptance of that good moment. So having that healthy confidence and being humble about your successes, taking credit for them, you have to take credit for your successes. So when someone compl compliments you, you have to take credit for that. You have to say thank you or something in that way, which communicates that you are taking credit for that thing. You are aware of that, that it was good, it's looking good on you, it's you are in a good shape, whatever someone compliments you about. And show some humble feelings as well, because it makes you approachable and it makes people like you more. So she is handling that very moment in an amazing way. Because if she, if she would be cocky about that moment, if she, if she wouldn't show that, if she wouldn't show that humble feeling about that, she would be perceived in a very different way and it wouldn't be that nice and that good wipe going out from that scene. And also the thing is that, as I said, it could put her in a very bad light, but she, she nicely got away with a joke as well. So that statement was perfectly prepared for that very moment. It was a joke, it took credit for that moment and it showed that she is humble about that. So it was an amazing, amazing way how to respond to something that could make you look really bad. But I don't know how you feel about it, that uh, basic instinct is the most paused, has the most paused moment in movie history. In all of movie history, it is the most Why, paused Conan, moment. Conan, what, what moment would that be? <laughs> it's towards the... I'm, yeah. uncertain, <laughs> I'm uncertain what moment we're talking about. <laughs> It's actually the credits. Uh, people <laughs> really want to know who the cinematographer is. No, but and another thing is that she is taking quite a lot of space. It's not necessarily every time for everybody, but when you want to be perceived confident and or confident slash dominant, you want to take quite a lot of space around you. 
and uh, it comes from a Darwin theory that the more dominant you are, the big, bigger space you take. So she is having her arms on an armrest, which is taking quite a lot of space, and she's not afraid of gesturing all around her, which makes her being perceived as a bigger, which makes her being perceived as a more dominant. You get uh, pursued by a, a lot of young men. A lot of young men pursue you. It's and the I, baking. It's the, it's, the, it's the pies, is it really? Okay. Is that true though? You find that young men are just... Uh... Looking for pie? <laughs> you are being pers pursued. You are being pursued by, the, by a lot of young men. It's the baking. It's very similar response as with the unpopular too. She is sort of taking credit for that. She's not denying that they are not pursuing her. She's aware of why is that. And she is taking away it for she is getting away from that with a joke again. When you are put in a situation like this, it's good to know how to structure your response so it's good to get away with the joke because joke is often an attack to the other person to the integrity of the other person as well so you are fighting for your ground you are showing that you are confident you are dominant and acknowledging whatever they are talking about whatever they are complimenting about because conan complimented on her again but that compliment could put her in quite a bad light again so she is acknowledging that fact she knows that she acknowledges that they are pursuing her and she is reading between the lines again as i mentioned previously in a video she is reading the lines she is getting along she's going along with that she doesn't need to articulate everything that they are talking about so there's like a secondary topic they are talking about and she is following that secondary topic when they are talking about that primary topic. So joke, acknowledgement, and you are good to go. Well, these talk show hosts are often being quite a lot of offensive. And a lot of people also here in Czech Republic, I've looked on a, quite a lot of talk shows and the people are prepared being attacked by hosts and it looks like it's the very similar thing over here people going in the talk shows are ready to attack the host so they are not being attacked first the guests so for example in one check one check show there was a psychologist very well-known psychologist in czech republic came to the probably the best known talk show in czech republic and that host is being known for his offensive style so that psychologist came there sitting there having their chat and when it came to giving presents to each other so many of the guests are bringing some presents and he took some of his published books so he came there he bring him two books one about i'm not sure what 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 was it about and the second one was about eutanasia and it was an amazing attack on the integrity of the person, of the host of the show. So he won that very situation and and the host was put it in a light that he couldn't attack the psychologist at that very moment. So he, he only said, well, you are a very sensitive person and the psychologist, of course, I'm a psychologist. So it was a funny moment and this is a very, si and this is a very similar moment when Conan is asking Sharon about why young men are pursuing her she is not responding very much to his question but attacking and putting conan in a quite a bad light at that moment so he can't do it on her maybe he tries to do it i'm not very sure how he structured his questions but she is putting him in a bad light at that very moment which is awesome and she is gaining so much dominance at that very moment she does that so if you want to gain an instant dominance you have to attack the person that you are trying to be superior to not in a bad way not in an obvious way you don't want to do it in a way that he will know that you are attacking him straight away you can't say you are an idiot you can't say that but you have to put it in a jacket of a joke for example but not that obvious you have to put it in a jacket of something that's relevant for the situation and something that on a secondary line is offensive to the person you are trying to attack like now she is bringing up controversial topic about sexuality 
So it puts Conan in a slightly bad light, but he handles that as well. So I think it's a show base, so it's expected to happen like this, but our brains are working always the same, so it's the power play. As I said, they are playing who is going to be more dominant and who's going to be submissive at that very moment and it's changing as they are talking. You are kind of a snake's underbelly. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot! Yeah. I think that was meant with love. Yeah. And then there is another attack from Sharon to Conan when she says you are like a snake's underbelly. It's a quite open attack but it's not that problem because she is having that body language that kind of funny body language and it's being perceived as a fun but again as i said it's always a power play every human interaction is a power play and now she is getting quite a lot dominance over the conan and they both know it so it's a it's, it's an, a beautiful example of what i've been talking about when you are attacking someone you are getting quite more you are getting his dominance metaphorically speaking so when you want to get more dominance when you're going to get dominant at that situation you have to attack the person over here the moment escalated that much that she could make that open insult and she is gaining that dominance right away because you can see conan how he is perplexed or pretending to be angry or something like that and she is on a, on a, on a top from the video it's also obvious that she is going on her note she is not necessarily le letting Conan to lead where it goes so she is leading that conversation so you need to know where you are going in that conversation when you want to be confident and following your path not letting others to take you to their path because it will make them superior and you will be inferior to them and you don't want that when we are talking about the confidence and and a dominance place you may let that happen when you are for example working for that person but when you are in a friendly environment you really want to go on your path on your path and when you are with the other person those two paths are parallel but you never want to hop on the path of the other person and go along with him because it will make you inferior i'm speaking metaphorically just a little over here but know your path guard your path and steer it where you need to go and always stick to your path so what i mean by that when you have some some knowledge you have some know-how and someone is attacking that always fight for your know-how and do not let others to accept to accept their know-how. When you know your truth, never adjust your truth just to fit expectations of others. You need to go on your own path and guard it as much as you can by the things I've mentioned in the video, so jokes, acknowledgements, and relax body language, and taking much space as much space as you can, following the path of the communication not your personal path but the outline of the conversation and reading between lines and reacting to what's going on between lines and between lines and if you want to gain more instant confidence you unraven that secondary path and you articulate something out from that and you make it as an coated insult to the person that you are talking to to gain some confidence some dominance it will work all the time i have experiences with that so if you are if you will really want to do that definitely do it because it will give you an instant confidence, instant dominance, which will last for ever if you will act according to that. So I guess we are done with the Sharon Stone. And if you have any tips, what should I analyze next time? Definitely leave a comment down below. Let me know if this video was helpful. I'd be very happy getting and feedback from you because I'm doing those videos for you. 
So just communicate with me down below. I'd be very happy hearing anything you have to say. And if you are interested in gaining confidence a little bit more, I'm creating a 30 day challenge. There is a link down below where you will you pre-sign your interest to that course. It will be 30 day long. It will have a pre-recorded lessons and there will be like accountability calls with me. So if you are interested in something like that, definitely check it out because it will be something. I'm putting my best into that course and it will be released in the summer. Not sure 100% when, but I'm planning that on the 1st of August. So if it is something that you're interested in, definitely subscribe, consider subscribing to that waiting list. And there are some immediately accessible course, so if you want to check some of them out, they are down below in the description of the video. Some of them are for free, some of them are paid. If you consider going to the paid one, I'll be very happy because you will help me a little bit on my journey to buying a new camera, better lights and just like improving my game on YouTube, which I'll be very grateful for. And uh, if you want to know more, if you want to check out more of the videos, definitely do that because, because this video is about the confidence and I'm analyzing Barack Obama dealing with the interruption in his speech, which is also a great video, not very appreciated so far on YouTube, but it doesn't matter. So thank you very much for your watching and see you next time guys, bye!